Welcome to video 161 in series 3, and now I'll write the NPC health script. Alright, so we need a new c -sharp script, and call this one NPC underscore health, and open it up. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to put in my variables, private NPC master, NPC master, public int NPC health, private bool, health critical, private float, health low is equal to 25. And I think I'd better give the NPC just a default health here, just in case uh, the developer forgets to put in a health. They don't find their NPCs dying the moment they're uh, instantiated. Okay, so just put a default of, say, let's say, equal to 100. Okay, inside of set initial references, just one line, NPC master is equal to get component NPC master. Okay, next I'm going to uh, put in a sub method here, and this one is void check health fraction. Inside of it, if NPC health is less than or equal to health low, and NPC health is greater than zero, NPC master dot call event NPC low health. Health critical is equal to true, and so this will result in the NPC fleeing, as you know. Uh, now, else if NPC health is greater than health low and it is in the health critical state so the health critical flag is active then npc master dot call event npc health recovered health critical is equal to false now above that i'm just going to put in another method here called void increase health and it takes in a parameter int that's called health change npc health plus equal health change if npc health is greater than 100 then just make sure it stays at 100 npc health is equal to 100 now you could put in a instead of hard coding it like i did inside of the uh, npc master script or even inside of this script uh, you could just say that if there's some sort of max health you can make another variable and say max health and just say if it's greater than max health then it equals max health that's probably a better way to do it uh, but being, uh, I guess, a, a lazy coder in this uh, example, I've just done that shortcut. But really, that is uh, the better way is to make a variable up there, and then you can set it according to whatever you want. Uh, and then after that, I call the check health fraction method uh, just to make sure, just to double check uh, whether uh, if the like the health was in the critical state and they were fleeing, then this would be called and their health would be recovered and they would uh, no longer be in the fleeing state. In fact, if uh, you go to the NPC state pattern and just have a look inside of it, uh, you'll see that when the uh, event NPC health recovered method, uh, well that is event is called rather, then the activate patrol state method is called. So the NPC would move into the patrol state. Okay, anyway, so I still have another method to put in here. And that, of course, is the deduct health. So void deduct health, pass in int health change, npc health minus equal health change. If npc health is less than or equal to zero, npc health is equal to zero. npc master dot call event npc die and then destroy game object, meaning this very game object that this script is attached to, comma, random dot range, comma, a 10, comma, 20. So it could be the game object will be removed anywhere from 10 to 20 seconds. Now, of course, you don't have to have that. If you don't want that, then just, uh, just comment it out or handle it however you wish to handle it. All right, so now for testing purposes, I just have this bit of code inside of update, which is if input dot get key up key code dot period, then npc master dot call event npc increase health by 20. And so that way you can test that the enemy will stop fleeing. But uh, for our purposes, you comment that out when you want to uh, test that, then just uh, uncomment it. All right, so we're going to use on enable and on disable, but not start. So I'll just get rid of that. In on enable, we of course need to call set initial references, then npc master dot event npc deduct health plus equal deduct health, npc master dot event npc increase health plus equal increase health. 
All right, so then in the on disable method, have the uh, corresponding unsubscribes there. And of course, you can see how it's working. So let's just save all that. And I'll just scroll through a bit slowly. Okay, so that's it. Really nice and simple. We can go to Unity, just double check, no obvious errors, no, and just attach it uh, to the golem. So just drop in NPC health, good, apply, and of course we can't test it out. There's, of course we can't see anything happen because, um, because that golem, uh, well, that golem just simply, uh, can't be hurt at the moment. We've still got a lot more scripts to write. So let's keep going and let's handle that. Oh, it looks like we're out of, just out of range for him to attack or he can't attack us while we're on the wall. That's pretty handy. Anyhow, let's move on to the next video and keep on going.